To understand how a helicopter maintains a stable auto-rotation, we need to consider the various forces acting on the rotor blades and how they interact. These forces can be represented as vectors, which are arrows that indicate both the magnitude and direction of the force. One of the primary forces at play is lift, which acts perpendicular to the rotor blade's direction of motion. Lift is generated due to the difference in air pressure above and below the blade, a result of the blade's angle of attack. Opposing lift is drag which acts parallel to the blade's direction of motion. Drag is the aerodynamic resistance that opposes the motion of the blade through the air. In addition to lift and drag, we also need to consider the force of gravity, which acts downwards on the entire helicopter, and the centrifugal force, which acts outwards from the center of rotation. Centrifugal force keeps the blades extended outward during rotation, similar to how a ball on a string stays extended when you swing it in a circle. During a stable auto-rotation, these forces are in a state of equilibrium. Section 7. 